the first day of school for our city's public school students is now in the books. We want to know, how did it go for you and your family? Let us know by scanning that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. And as kids filed back into classrooms, Schools Chancellor David Banks sat down exclusively with News 12's Phil Tate as he met with students in Brownsville, Brooklyn. Make sure, guys, that you stay strong. Have a great year. Eagle up. Eagle up. Schools Chancellor David Banks wants students to ascend this school year. That was the first day. Meeting with scholars at the Eagle Academy for Young Men as the first day of the school year came to a close. These are young men who are filled with hope and promise and potential and lots of ideas as well. Um, and they, they give us strength and they give us guidance about the kinds of things that we should be doing. You are on month nine of this job, if I'm not mistaken, your yes. first full school year. Of course, this is just day one. But in terms of this whole school year, what impact do you hope to make and, and what results do you want parents to see? You know, the theme that I'm working on this year is what I call bright starts and bold futures. One of the things that we've learned is that so many of the schools in New York City have not done a good enough job of making sure that we teach all of our kids how to read. 65% of black and brown children in New York City public schools never achieve reading proficiency. That's a shame. As the chancellor aims to improve literacy, school safety, another top priority. We're trying to just uh, increase our odds at keeping everybody safe. The Department of Education reimagining school culture and safety with additional safety agents, enhanced safety trainings, and citywide safety assessments. I think school safety agents are critically important uh, to the safety and culture of schools. I myself was a school safety agent. As crime on city streets has spilled into classrooms, the DOE continuing programming aimed at improving school culture. We've lined up 140 different organizations from all across the city. Um, who are going to be coming in to serve as mentors, big brothers and big sisters, credible messengers. While also ensuring conflict mediation is present in the time of trouble. Well, restorative justice is, is, is an important initiative because while, and the young men of here at Eagle said, we need to have rules, we need to have consequences. Kids need to know that they need to do the right thing. We don't want chaos in our schools. As there are high hopes for the school year, a budget battle looms as the New York City Council passed a resolution Tuesday calling on Mayor Adams to restore $469 million in school funding. The chancellor's response? The people that I know have been, been very concerned about these most recent set of budget cuts. Uh, but for many years when we didn't have those cuts, we still had 65% of black and brown kids who never learned to read. I don't think that our answers are all just about budget, but it's really about will. In Brownsville, Phil Tate, News 12.